Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. Today I have a project to share with you. You may remember this. A month or so ago I painted an oversized barn quilt to hang on the wall in my bedroom and I absolutely loved it and ever since I've been obsessed with these barn quilts and I've been wanting to make some more in like smaller sizes to use around the house. So this past weekend while I was sitting watching Olympics I made this. Isn't it cute? I absolutely love it. This is I believe like a 10 by 10 square and then I made a little frame around it and I think it turned out amazing. So today I'm going to quickly share with you how I made it. So let's get started. To get started I cut a 1 inch thick piece of lumber into an 8 inch square. I then picked out a craft paint made by Folk Art in the color Vintage White. Then I quickly gave the lumber two coats of paint. I then sketched out a design that I wanted to use onto some graph paper and then scribbled all over the back side so that I could easily transfer it onto the board itself. After lining up the design on the board, I carefully held it in place and used a pencil to transfer the design simply by tracing over all the squares that I wanted painted. Once I had traced all the lines, I carefully lifted the design to make sure that it had transferred nicely to the other side. It doesn't show up very well on camera, but you can see it better in real life. I then picked an accent color by Americana in Lamp Black. Then using a small detailed brush, I simply started painting in my design. Next, it was time to build a frame. So I'm using this last board, which is about a quarter inch thick by about two inches wide. And I'm just lining it up along one side of the painting and making a mark. And then using my miter, box, and saw, I simply cut it to size. I then continue to do the same thing for all the remaining three sides, making sure that I cut two pieces that were shorter in length and two pieces that were longer, which would overlap the two shorter pieces to form a frame. Next I painted all the frame pieces in my accent color and then took a piece of sandpaper and distressed the edges. I also used my sandpaper to lightly distress my design to give it a little bit more of an aged look. To enhance the aged look I used this cream wax by Americana Decor in the color Deep Brown. After pouring a small amount onto a clean t-shirt rig, I simply wiped it all over my design. I then used another piece of rig to buff out the wax. The final step is to attach the frame. So I laid the pieces out making sure that they were in the right position before I permanently attached them to the board. To attach the frame, I'll be using this brad nailer, which uses 1 inch brad nails. You could also use finishing nails and a hammer. I attached each piece of the frame with three brad nails, and that is it. Project complete. Here's a look at the finished barn quilt. I put it on a shelf in my kitchen, and I absolutely love how it turned out. So there you go, a simple very fun project to work on and you could go so many different ways with so many different quilt patterns it's craziness um, I had a really hard time narrowing it down to this um, design but I just went into Pinterest and looked up quilt blocks and there's oodles and oodles 
of inspiration out there for this sort of thing. So just look around, find one that you like, and start painting. It is so much fun. I will say, if you want to make this project even easier, you don't have to put the frame around the outside of it. I almost didn't put the frame on this, but at the end, I decided to. But I think I mean, with my next one that I make, because I'm thinking I need to make some like spring-like colored ones. <laughs> um, those, I don't think I'm going to put a frame on. Just to give it a little bit more variation. And it looks perfectly fine without the frame on it also. So I am loving these barn quilts. And maybe now you are too. And you can make your very own. So thank you very much for stopping by today. I appreciate it. If you are new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button because I like to share lots of craft projects like this, DIYs, I have a thrift store Thursday haul, and then I also have a weekly family vlog. So there's a lot going on here on my channel to keep you interested. So I guess that is it for me today. I will say goodbye and I will see you in my next video. Bye now.